In this video, we are going to see how do you find out all the zeros, okay, of a biquadratic polynomial when two zeros are given. So a biquadratic polynomial is the one in which the degree of the variable is 4, okay. So you are told to obtain all other zeros of a polynomial which is given over here, which is biquadratic with the highest degree being 4, if two of its zeros are 1 and minus 1, right? Now, if 1 and minus 1 are zeros of the given polynomial, what it means is that x plus 1 as well as x minus 1 should be factors of this particular number right why because we are told that x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 okay in this particular case assuming these are the zeros which are there right in that case probably if we divide this polynomial by x plus 1 and x minus 1 what we will get is the remaining part of the polynomial Okay, and then we can try and see if we can factorize it to get the other zeros. Now, x plus 1 and x minus 1 can be written as x squared minus 1. You must be wondering, why am I doing all this? Okay, let me just tell you one thing. So, let's say, for example, if you had a number called um, 60. Okay, now 60 can be written as 5 times 4 times 3. Right? If I know that 4 and 3 are available and I am told to find out what are the other factors of 5, I can just simply divide 6 by 5 into 4 into 3, right? In this case, let's say 4 and 3 are available, which is this 1 and minus 1. I can just remove this and if I divide 60 by these two numbers, I will get answer 5, which is the remaining factor of 60. Same thing I am trying to apply over here. I know that the polynomial is this and x plus 1 and x minus 1 are two factors of this polynomial. So first I am dividing this by x square minus 1 to see what is the remaining factors or the polynomials which are available. So I would just simply write down the polynomial as it is okay, and divide it by x square minus 1. And let's see what do we get. So you multiply this first by x square x square times x square gives us x to the power 4 minus x square. We don't get anything in this part. So this is plus, this becomes minus, this is minus, this becomes plus. Cancelled. Take down minus 5x cube plus 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 6x square. Right? Now I multiply this by minus 5x because minus 5x into x square gives me minus 5x cube. And minus 5x into minus 1 gives me plus 6x. I will also just bring down this 5x over here. And then minus 5x into minus 1 gives me plus 5x. And I put in this plus 5x over here. Right? So this becomes minus, this becomes plus, knocked off, knocked off. Plus 6x squared minus 6. If I just multiply this by 6, I get 6 times x square, 6 x square, 6 times minus 1 gives me minus 6, right? This becomes minus, this becomes plus, knock, knock. So what do I get? I get x square minus 5x plus 6, right? So this is the number, if I just equate this with 0, why 0? Because we are told that this remaining polynomial is supposed to be factors of the original polynomial right and i solve this what do i get i get x square minus um what do we do minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0 x x minus 3 minus 2 x minus 3 is equal to 0 x minus 3 and x minus 2 is equal to 0 or in other words the value of x could be 3 or 2 right so the other zeros for this polynomial are 3 and 2 the idea was simple we know the polynomial we know what are the two zeros we just equate these zeros as x plus 1 and x minus 1 right when i just multiply these two i get x square minus 1 if these 
other factors then I just divide the polynomial by this and what I get here is basically nothing but another number which I just need to kind of break down to see what are the zeros of this number okay